these companies are always going to try and push a little bit to see what the initial reaction is. And if there isn't that much of a reaction, mm -hmm. they're going to move forward. That's why when when the reception of uh, with the reception of Hogwarts Legacy being live service kind of caused that big reaction, that's a good thing. Yes, you're going to have people online that are saying, "Well, why? Why is it such a big deal? You're a toxic gamer, blah blah blah." Ignore <laughs> those. Ignore those people. <laughs> Ignore them. They're, they're I don't know. They're just drinking the Kool Aid, whatever. But if you, there's something <laughs> that's coming up and you don't like it, you need to push back. 100. percent That's yes. your voice. Yeah, yeah. Use it. Exactly. Otherwise, exactly. these companies just going to go ahead with practices that don't benefit the gamers right that don't benefit the customers mm -hmm. exactly and and i think that that's a big point that a lot of gamers need to take into account because so many are sitting back and just being like well i guess we gotta accept it instead of throwing a bit mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. i mean you're not getting my money for that subscription service because in five six years you're gonna take the game from me and then you know when i'm 80 mm -hmm. and i want to play it <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have it, you know, because I'll, I'll be 80 in like five years, you know. Like, oh, stop it! <laughs> so, it's like your, your time is. There's a, so there's good a game called 80. Evolve that I love that came out in 2017, mm -hmm. and it is live service, mm -hmm. and it started getting traction again. I tried to get back on, I bought it, and they just shut down the server, Oof. and I have no, no access to it. It goes off. Wow. So, yeah, that's I. I'm so with you, gamer. I forget all that stuff. I don't want to deal with any of that live service stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, you know, I, I just, and then you meet friends on there yes. and you, mm -hmm. you, you bond you with them. Apart. Then, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just yeah. like, you know, I'm reaching out. That's right. That's right. I'm, like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like Rose and Titanic. <laughs> 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 Right on. Also, another thing about it that's not sitting super great with me, and I know the game's rated T, mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of people, like, their childhoods are in Harry Potter, and they're raising their kids in Harry mm -hmm. Potter. Mm -hmm. So, like, how many kids are playing this game? Like, how many young people? And you put uh, microtransactions in a game with, like, kids who may not really know what they're doing, and it just seems a little manipulative Oh yeah. in that <laughs> aspect. Like, oh, yeah. I know it's rated T, but that's never yeah. stopped anyone from doing anything before. <laughs> um, yeah. So, exactly. yeah. I get a little worried about that as well, like, from a moral standpoint. 100%. Like, just, yes. like, draining mm -hmm. children, yeah. is, you know. Well, they're, yeah. they're yeah. parents, really. <laughs> good consumers. Yeah. And oh, it's well, true, yeah. because... I've, I've, I had to ban my kid from Fortnite for like four years. Roblox. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Roblox. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh my and God. Even, um, uh, what was it? The, the big, big one. I can't Fortnite, even Fortnite. Fortnite. They, they had to pay yeah. out like yeah. half a billion dollars because right. of that, because yep. of, uh, um, mm. what do you call it? Uh, deceptive practices when it comes to loot boxes and skins and things like that. They make it way too easy for kids to buy stuff. You know? Yeah. No. And, of practices. And they, <laughs> <laughs> if I if I had taken a sip of my drink, I would have just been a yeah, or not. Been a, been a <laughs> <spickle take. laughs> would have would have ruined my laptop. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Casual Consumers live stream every Saturday.